Hampton now on a major update on some car vandalisms we first reported over the weekend. That's when Joe Fisher told us about more than 30 people who had their car windows shattered. We started digging and found even more, a lot more. He joins us now with exclusive statistics. Joe, this is a pricey problem for a lot of people. Tom, a lot more is right. More than 70 people left with hundreds of dollars in repairs over the last month. We started looking into this case after neighbors asked us to investigate. Now police tell me they'll be doing more to try to catch those responsible for the damage. It's happened to 73 cars in a month, according to police. Busted out windows in the Fox Hill, Willow Oaks, and Buckrow areas of Hampton. It's got to be very frustrating to wake up in the morning and go out and realize that your vehicle's been vandalized in any way, shape, or form. Robert Weinman knows the frustration all too well. He's one of 36 victims whose car windows were shot out last weekend alone. Glass all over the floor, glass inside, both back seat and front seat. Yeah. Police uncovered dozens of similar reports since 10 on your side first started asking questions Sunday. Sergeant Matt Bond says he doesn't know if they're connected, but there are similarities. It appears that a slingshot pellet gun or possibly even a paintball gun may be uh, the source of the propulsion. Investigators say it's unclear who is shooting at the cars, but these pictures could help. This dark colored medium sized pickup truck was captured on home surveillance video by a witness on Buffalo Drive, one of more than 40 streets affected. By all means, we're taking this incident seriously. Most of the incidents happened on Friday and Saturday nights over the last four weeks. This weekend, Bond says police will be out in force again. We do plan on stepping up patrols in these areas to not only prevent, but also in an attempt to apprehend the individuals responsible for these crimes. So far, no one has been arrested. That's why police are asking neighbors, especially in those affected neighborhoods, to be on alert and call them if they see any suspicious activity. Live in the newsroom tonight, I'm Joe Fisher. 10 on your side.